this is just a quick little announcement as I have done a minor project change. So the first thing that you will notice is there's a new folder called MS Presets. You can ignore that. This is just our mega scans from Twixel. So I have just the default material and its textures inside of our maps and Nazi zombies. You'll see a new folder called Not Stern Toten. You could ignore this. This is just well, obviously as the name it kind of tells you. I'm just working on remaking Master and Toten and Nazi Zombies, just so we have a fun map to play on. This will be optional, obviously, but release later on. And I am on the now version 4.25, and that is the source build. So you shouldn't really see any major differences or anything, but in case there are some that pop up or something that doesn't necessarily work for you, keep in mind that that is a probability. So, anyways, just a quick little example. Uh, for actually setting this up, you need to create a GitHub account. Again, only if you want the source. Go to, uh, you need to link your GitHub account with Unreal Engines, and you can download the actual Unreal Engine 4.25 directly from GitHub. You extract it, you can literally just Google how to install the Unreal Engine source, and it'll show you how to set everything up. And you just launch the Unreal Engine project, pilot. And this will take anywhere from 30 to a little over an, 30 minutes to a little over an hour. On a 4670K at 4.4 gigahertz, it took me a little over 50 minutes. Like it's going to take a while. So you'll see it slowly compiling files. But just a random note: after you get past like around 1500 or so compiled out of the, I don't know, like 3300 or something, like 1500 out of 3300, it'll start to really pick up. So it's going to start out very slow. Just it does get faster, just an FYI. Uh, anyways, once it's installed, just go to your project, right click, switch and engine version. And by default, it'll be 4.2 or whatever version you're on. But you should actually see a new option called source build, and it'll be the path where you installed your source. So you just select that, press OK, and it would begin generating whatever it needs to do. After that's done, open up the project in Visual Studio compile it, then you should be good to go to launch your U project. So, yeah, that's, I think, everything. You can ignore this Megascans button. Again, that's just for me and Quixel. Yeah, I think that's all, actually. So, now this is just a quick little announcement there just for, no, the, for notice from changes, and I will see you in the next one where we continue with our tutorials.